Hello from Epcot. We are here to catch the scavenger hunt, which is our favorite activity <laughs> for all of the festivals. So we're at the Flower and Garden Festival. And today we're looking for fruits. No, flowers. Flowers, that would, We're looking yes. for flowers. It's a flower scavenger hunt. <laughs> so. Not sure what the price is. Usually I'm you sure can just- I'm sure it's floral related. I'm, yes. Yeah, so, Typically, you could just grab the prize even if you don't complete the scavenger hunt, but we're gonna do this in the most honorable way. So we're gonna do it, we're gonna, you're gonna have fun, and uh, let's go. Okay, this one is a little bit different, unlike the one that we did for Figment at um, Festival of the Arts. This one, we're looking for uh, the different topiaries, and so they, they tell you which one we're supposed to, to look for, and then we can look for a spike in the topiary. It looks like Walcott is still around. Hopefully this will be going away at some point later this year when uh, Journey of Water, the Moana attraction, opens in Nepca. In the meantime, still amazed. Hi Chip, hi Dale. You guys are so cute. <laughs> You okay. couldn't resist the picnic theme, huh? Uh, no. Oh, there it is. The perfect picnic, of course. And we have the Blossom of Fragrance. That's a butterflies. So there, only, only, hold on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Right? There's 12, there's 12 countries. Uh-huh. I bet they're all the topiaries in the countries. Okay. Yeah. I think this is easier to go to the World Showcase. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we change it's our these specific topiary. Right, right. So, uh, eleven countries. Actually. Well, there's twelve of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I'm assuming one of them may be one of the middle ones up here or something. Okay. But we haven't found a map that actually tells us where all the different topiaries are. So I'm assuming. Like I'm just assuming. We'll find out. <laughs> it's our first time doing this, so it's always fun. The centerpiece. Goofy over here guarding the World Showcase entrance. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's so pretty. These things take a long time to grow, apparently. So, some of them, I, you know, I've heard seven years to grow a topiary. Can tell you yeah. where in the countries or where anywhere in the park that they'll be. Okay. Um, but again, with the scavenger hunt, it'll kind of just have you kind of looking for them. They're okay. very small. They're not very big. So, uh, Spike is not very big. Okay, I think we're uh, this new strategy is gonna be walking around World Showcase a little bit, kind of get us uh, gotta get ourselves situated, um, and yeah, we feel like some of them might be in the countries, but some of them might be outside of the World Showcase, so we don't know. We'll find out. Over here, we have the three caballeros. So cute. <laughs> And yeah, at one point Donald was a plant, but yeah. uh, <laughs> yes, <laughs> we, we unfortunately did not have the pleasure of uh, seeing plant Donald, but uh, he was also a box at some point too, but we're glad that he's back. And yeah, we got some uh, special flower and garden foods, food booths around. This one also lasts a while too. It's like all the way until yeah, it's not like all the way until July. Look, the, uh, instead of just having like the really aggressive metal, don't sit here stuff. Now they got flowers. flowers. They should actually put those there all the time. Yeah, I know. All right. Better than it normally does. All right. He's peeling off a sticker like he found something. So okay. There must be something there must, here. must be something here. See, we um. Our trick is to follow other people who are also doing the scavenger hunt because they might know more than we. The desert garden. So when we, uh, All right. oh, okay. It's the desert garden in the Mexican pavilion. Nope, doesn't seem like it. Well, at least we know these things are outside. Because last time we were trying to find figment, we couldn't, we couldn't figure out it was all inside or outside. But topiaries are outside, so that narrows things down a little bit. Just oh wow, 
look, it is so pretty. Hola, amigos. Hola. Hola. Hello. Congratulations. Okay, we found the tropical rainforest. I think that is one of the uh, the marked areas. Let's see. Maybe we can find spikes somewhere in here. Oh wow, orchids. Okay, excellent. So we are now looking for ZB. I'm looking for a spike. This is where you excel. I, yeah, I, I can. One of the, you can like pick things out of stuff. I get visual Okay, we are looking for a <laughs> bee. Where would the bee be? But these organs are beautiful, though. And that is our first spike. Yay! And in this one, Spike is pollinating an orchid. And then we got the same pro I just trimmed my nails and I can't feel these silly stickers off. Oh yes, Mike had a problem with pigment that he couldn't get the stickers off. Looks like we're having the same problem. He's just busy, busy working. Busy bee. Okay, now that we're, we know what we're looking for, the spike is pretty small. <laughs> He's pretty hidden, so it's very relevant. Oh, he has an even little winner. That's really cute. <laughs> hi, hi, little troll. Hi, troll. Of course, our icy frozen sisters are by the Norway pavilion. That, that makes sense. They have a snowflake topiary, which is kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, still looking for China, right? the Norway. Garden Italiano. Oh, Magnolia? Okay, what if something was in China, what would it be? In China? Yeah. I like, don't do know. Do any of those things... Magnolia, maybe? China? Um... <laughs> hmm. I don't know. The butterfly house might be in China. Ooh. Or Japan, though. No, Japan's the other one. There's something over by this. Uh, okay. This Maybe it's a butterfly garden. What do you think? The Kote. Kote Dama. Kote Dama. Kote Dama. That's like straight out. All right. Maybe it's butterflies. Yeah, I could totally see the butterflies being. I Let's go around like the little pond area. Okay. That's around the. I could totally see that being. I could totally be wrong, but. Bamboo garden. Bam is, there, is there a bamboo garden in there? No, but whatever, let's check it out. Okay. So now we're in China. Oh, got panda bears. Gotta have panda topiaries. Have to have panda topiaries. Oh, we have like a little oh, wow, rabbit thing. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Yeah, that's cool. Are these topiaries? No, no. This is new. I've not seen this before. Yeah, I don't know. This is totally this. new. Wow. Oh, these are little. Yeah, they're little like, they're made from like corn and like beans and stuff. This is pretty neat. That's a pretty scary looking monkey though. Oh my gosh. Yeah, these are like made out of uh, seeds and grain and something. Very cool. That almost looks like pomegranate for the dragon. That's really beautiful. Huh. How neat is this? Got some black beans and corn. Huh. Still think the, dra the monkey is a little, little slightly messed up, but okay. Pretty. This is beautiful. Okay, well, let's look at the rooster. Uh, the rooster's missing something. Oh, that's his, I guess that's his tail. Oh. oh my gosh, the dog is 
<laughs> slightly weird looking as well. The, the rat looks pretty good though. And that is the horse, this tiny little pony. And we got the, the snake and we have the sheep. All right, these are your corn made zodiac signs. Very cute. <laughs> Aw, look at them. And of course, something to point out is the little train in the Germany Pavilion, and they changed their festival flags. So let's check out the uh, flower and garden flags. Let's see if they're there. Ah, sure enough, we have the flower and garden little festival flags. Last time we were here, they uh, they were definitely festival of the arts. So nice little detail there. We got some eggplant, some garlic, the tasty side. shard, tomatoes, ooh, cabbage. Ooh, there's a spike. There's a spike. Which one is this? I don't know. I accidentally ran into Spike. <laughs> there he is in Garden Italiano. All right. Cool. Now we're gonna off. Be, we're off to Magnolia Terrace. Well, I have no idea where we're gonna hit next, but so far we've got two in order, so maybe we'll get lucky. So I'm pretty sure they're just around it. So all right, we're Progress walking in the right direction. Yay! This is tougher than the other ones, I feel like. Although Figment was a t pretty tough too. I like this one because it kind of encourages you to just be random. Yeah. And just really kind of explore. Because not all of them are in the World Showcase, I would imagine. So. And we are in the little back area of the Japan Pavilion, which is super chill, usually. Uh, we got some bonsai trees. And, and we are at the Kokedama Garden. Like bonsai, Kokedama are a Japanese art form, art form made from the earth. So, so Spike. Oh, it's like a little bird person ninja there. How cool. Did you see the bird person ninja? That is a... Uh, oh, I forget. There he is. Iris. Spike is pollinating Iris. Actually quite cool back here. Next stop, we're going to the Spice Garden. We're pretty sure it's gonna be in the Moroccan Pavilion, so that's where we're off to next. Do you like a dog? I think I'm good. Dolls scare me a little bit. There's something about them. You just never know if they're gonna wake up in the middle of the night and try to like, you know, do naughty things. So no, no dolls, no thank you. Oh, we got some live performances over here in the Moroccan Pavilion. Okay, I think we're at the Spice Garden. Let's for oh, I found him. It's the pepper. It's the pepper. Look at Spike and black mustard, cinnamon. Cinnamon. Uh, what else? Chili pepper. Chili pepper. Oh yeah, this is definitely the Spice Garden. Look at that. That's all made by like. You know, like star anise and all these like spices, bay leaf, garlic. It's really neat. Cool. French marigold. I don't even know what that is. Black pepper, spearmint, parsley. I I mean, 
mean, we cook with a lot of these, right? I mean, they're not totally foreign to us. It's like cardamom. This is really neat. Oh, and we have... Saffron, little wizard. Oh, cute. And Miss Piggy's over there doing something. Check out Miss Piggy. Kermit! <laughs> She's always jet setting somewhere and uh, certainly in, in style with all of her luggages and suitcases. Of course, she would do that. And hi, Kermit! <laughs> Cute. Okay, looks like we're going to be off to the French Garden, which likely is going to be in the France Pavilion. So that's where we're going up. There, that's where we're going next. And we made it to the France Pavilion. Of course, who's the stars of the France Pavilion? Ratatouille! No, just kidding. We got Beauty and the Beast right here. Beauty, Belle in her ball gown. Yeah, we're looking for the French Garden. Incidentally, we're still, <laughs> still during the day, so I guess Beauty and the Beast sing-along is still it's still on. They changed this over to uh, the Impression de France over at night. So we, we had some, several of very disappointed children <laughs> who was wanting to sing with Belle but ended up being something else. So, oh, are we going to do the uh, Lards and the Gasse? Okay. All right. We're going to do this. Taking a little bit of detour to uh, check out the Lattes and the Glace. I'm pretty sure I'm saying it completely incorrectly, but like I said, uh, we've never actually. What kind of ice cream? Oh, yeah, let's check out the uh, choices. We got ice cream, we got sorbets. Um, I think vanilla is probably the safest bet, just because it's the most classic. Do they have like pistachio or anything? Yeah. Uh, coffee. Ooh, uh -huh. coffee. Coffee would go really well with that. Oh my okay. gosh. I okay, I think we're gonna go with coffee. Yeah. It's gonna be a yeah. I I, I want to have that little bit of a bitter note than just pure chocolate. Okay, we made our choices. We're gonna go with the brioche yeah. bun with coffee inside. That sounds delicious. So excited about this. Mike got the cafe glace, which is the iced cappuccino with one scoop of ice cream. I got the croquette glace, which is the uh, the, the ice cream with with a, in, within embedded within the uh, warm brioche bun. This has been something I've been really wanting to try, so can't wait. Yay! Uh, it's pretty hot outside, so we're just taking a detour from our staff scavenger hunt <laughs> to have some ice cream. This is a lovely little little respite from the uh, the heat. So yay! A little bit of chocolate. A little bit of chocolate as well. Wow. Thank you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's a hidden Mickey. <laughs> I love it. Yay. Okay. Ooh, that, I can already smell it. That smells amazing. Oh my goodness. Newspaper. <laughs> that, that's so cute. Yeah. Yeah. Voila, thank What's you going? very much, Merci. Oh, how cute is this? Oh my gosh, I can't wait. I really can't wait to try this. It's gonna be messy though. I couldn't um, wait to try mine. It's half gone already. That is so good. Better than the ones you started to make me uh, make at 100% huh? better than the one that I made at home. Okay. Give it a shot. Ooh, that warm brioche. The ice cream has, it still has maintains its like texture and integrity. Yeah, squeeze it on. Mm. Mm. That's a much, uh... That's really good. You know what I think it is? That brioche bun mm -hmm. is like a, almost made like a... It's way more fluffier it's than the brioche made bun like a from. Croissant. Yeah, it's way more fluffier than your regular grocery store brioche that you get. 
It's flaky. No, it's layered. Yeah. It's layered like a croissant. It's flaky. It's airy. Oh, that is so good. All right, I'm gonna try some of your. Um, that is. That is really, really good. Uh, all right, France. I'll give. I'll give you. you. You can do dessert. You can do dessert. I know. All right. I think we just found it. We got Lumiere and we got Cogsworth, but within um, in theme with the France Pavilion and our stars, Beauty and the Beast, we have Spike and we have a Rose. All right, appropriate. How cute. Okay, we are we are done in the France Pavilion. Bye, Spike. Okay, I think we're off to the Cogsworth. Oh, he, he moves. He moves. <laughs> it's. It may actually be real time. Six twenty. Uh, six twenty-two. Possibly. Possibly, yeah. yeah. If the bottom of his face is six, yeah. <laughs> Okay, we're done in the France Pavilion, and we're going to just continue to walk around the World Showcase here. And there's our spike, Camellia, yes. The Prince of Wales Black Tea. And we have the 100 acre friends over here. <laughs> oh, cute. And Tigger, being Tigger. And Eeyore. Very cute. Is this something? Could this be something? Hamlet? This is a Shakespeare garden. It's not on our thing? Okay. And we've made it to the Canada Pavilion and what best to represent Canada than a flock of Canadian geese. So oh, the wings are pretty, yeah, pretty neat. Yeah, kind of seems like they're taking flight, so pretty That's neat. Pretty cool. Yeah. We have Bambi, Thumper, and uh, I don't know what the skunk's name. Floor, maybe? I'm totally making this up. Hi, Bambi! Thumper was always my favorite. Yes. I forget the skunk's name. Me too. I think it's Floor. Maybe? Yes, yes, it is. Or Flower. Something like that. Uh, Critter Crossing over there. <laughs> Bubbles are going sideways. Pretty windy Old today. sideways bubble action. All right. I think we're just about in the. Let's just, just go left. Let's showcase. Yeah. And if we need to. Oh, honey, honey bistro. Ah. All right. Let's straight ahead. There's honey. I see honey bee hives. Yeah. Straight ahead. Straight ahead. Yep. 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 I know. Straight I know. Ahead. Okay. I bet he's. That looks like if I was going to be a honey bee. That's where I would be. Well, I could be over there too. Nah, nah, I would. You're gonna be. Look at they got a little. Okay, okay, all right, right, all right, all right. Let's go look for a Spike. I bet Spike's in the front over there. But let's okay. Do a let's do a lap around the plant. Got all sorts assortment of honey, and we bet Spike is somewhere in the 
yeah. front over Check there. Check there, see if we can find Spike. Okay. <laughs> Mike found him first. Fine. Okay, there he is. Oh, this one's actually trickier than I thought because it's a whole bunch of little bees and beehives and things. So that must be that flower. There. Ah. So there's a bee in that one. It's about to smell that flower. And there it is. Okay, very cute. Oh, there's a lot of bees. In this in this little garden here, we found Spike. We're looking pretty good. So I think yeah, we're officially done in the World Showcase. So we're gonna head back to uh, formerly known as Future World. So off we go. Oh my gosh, these are beautiful. See, I wonder if you're super allergic. <laughs> this, this festival is probably like your worst nightmare. <laughs> I bet you they probably try to get stuff that's not as as crazy. Oh, action shot, action shot. Oh, how pretty. We are at the Butterfly House. I think it's, we think it's by Journey into Imagination with right Figment. Here, I know, I know. But that would make sense because this is where Pooh catches butterflies from time to time. So yeah, this is where you can usually find we food. are almost done. We got four more left. So here we go. We found our spike. Salvia. And there there is Spikey. Hello, Spike. Okay. So, three more to go. Let's check out the butterflies. Yeah, we're definitely going in. Okay. We need to come all the way here just to stand outside. Welcome to the butterfly lane. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Okay, now we're in the test track area with Mission Space, Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind, and uh, Space 220. And we are now at the Donald and Daisy Topiary. I bet you that's where our spike is. And there he is. There's our spike. And sure enough, it is a daisy flower. Hi Spike, and yep, here's our Daisy, and hi Donald, and hi Daisy. All right, two more to go. And looks like we can grab two for the price of one. This looks like it's the prehistorical plants, and yep, the prehistorical plants. And there he is, there is Spike again. It's a Psycad, Psycad? 
not sure exactly, but, uh, but yeah, I think we're doing pretty well here. There's a couple of bike statues hidden in this back area with Club Pool and the Connections Eatery. So, all right, we're, we're almost done here. We got, we got one more to go. The very last one is the World Discovery Playground? Yes. Okay, well, we're discovering some worlds back there with Mission Space and uh, Space 220, so I betcha that is where it's gonna be. So, the mission is almost accomplished. All right, we've got Buzz over there. It's actually some really good lighting for Buzz. Very pretty. I think we may have found it. This looks kind of a playground-ish area. So, wow, this last one was a, <laughs> that was a bit of a challenge for us for some reason. But I, I'm, yeah, I think I think this this seems about right. So let's look for our spike here. I think I just found him. And there he is, the very last spike. Aha. All right. Awesome. It's like a cute little playground back here. We kind of, we might have just walked by it and didn't recognize it. So, another booth. And, uh, okay. And we have just triumphantly completed the Spike Pollination Exploration of 2023. Uh, went around some place, all, a couple countries in the World show Showcase, and uh, also a bunch of stuff in the World Discovery. So now, I think we're ready to go and claim our prize. I actually don't know what the prize is, so uh, we're gonna we're gonna check it out and wrap up today's scavenger adventure. Okay, we can claim our prize in either the creation shop or the uh, international gateway. So closest to the creation shop. So off we go. Feeling like scavenger champion. Woot yeah. woot! <laughs> we did it. We did it. Okay, looks like the redemption is by the checkout area. So we're almost there, trying to claim our prize. I think spike. Uh, you want a plate or a cup? A cup. Yeah. Cup is easier to carry. Completion stamp. Yay. We did it. We did it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I guess the, the prizes are either cups or plates. So we got Snow White, Orange Bird, Figment, and Spike. And uh, we decided that since it's Flower and Garden, we're going to get a Spike Cup. Okay, well, that's it. Oh, hope you enjoyed our 2023 Flower and Garden Spikes Pollination Exploration 2023. Um, we did it with honor because we actually went through and and found all of our spikes in the various places in Epcot. So thanks for watching. Uh, we hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you soon.